This is Kelly from paperbeadrollers.com, and this tutorial will show you how to use our Paperbead digital download files with your Cricut software. Now, it seems that the Cricut has an issue with sizing imported SVGs. This is a real issue when you're cutting paper bead strips because the size of the strip has a direct impact on the shape of your finished bead. It's critical that you get the sizing correct. Now to get around this issue, I've come up with a solution that shouldn't be too difficult. When you purchase the digital file, you'll receive an email with the download link within a few minutes. If you don't receive this email right away, send me a note at contact at paperbeadrollers.com and I will help you. Now clicking this link will download a zip file containing your templates. If you have a Windows computer, you can double click this file and then click the extract all button. Choose a location to save your files so you can find them again when you're ready to load them in your machine. Now, most Apple computers are set up to unzip the files when they're downloaded. However, you may have changed your settings at some point. If your file is saved as a zip, you probably need to double click it to extract the files. Now that the files are unzipped and saved on your hard drive, you can import them into your Cricut Design Space. Begin a new project. Click Upload. Click Upload an image and browse to the template file you want to cut. This file will remain accessible with the software, so you can give it a custom name and description if you'd like. Click Save. The template is now inside Design Space. Select the template and click Insert Images. The template is not going to come in as the right size. Now it might be too small or it might be too large. You never know until it shows up. The square in the background of the template represents the ideal paper size. So you'll click on this grouping and here at the top, adjust the size. So my templates generally come in eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. I'm resizing this one to a 12 by 12. That's how you can be sure your strips will come out at the right size. Now that our size is correct, over here in the layers panel, I'm gonna find the layer with the colored box. Click on the eye icon to hide it, and you're ready to cut. And don't forget, check paperbeadrollers.com for more paper bead digital download templates. Happy rolling!